Welcome to the next installment at the E-Academy. Previously, we presented the flashing process of the Integra control panels. Today, we will focus on how to configure the remote programming of the GPRS modules based on the GPRS T2 reporting module. Let's start from the basic question, what are the benefits of such a solution? Having the ability to remotely program the GPRS modules, you can easily change all of the settings of this device by using GPRS transmission. This eliminates the need to use any cables for programming, which will save you the time required to visit your customer, thus directly translating into cost savings. In that case, let's move on to the next question. What will be needed for this? A PC computer with Windows operating system as well as an external IP address and any port redirected to the address of your computer. For further information on this topic, please follow the link under the video. A USB RS programming converter for the first configuration of the device. The GPRS soft program which can be downloaded free of charge from our website. And of course the GPRS T2 module. In today's video we will use a pre-configured module. If the module is to be run for the first time this procedure is slightly different as we will present and explain in a separate installment. So let us start by connecting the GPRS T2 module to the computer using the USB RS converter. Then, start the GPRS soft program. Open the file with the settings of your module. In the Communication tab, go to Configuration and as in the case of flashing the Integra control panels, indicate the number of the COM port on which the converter has been installed. How to check the converter COM port number was shown in the installment titled Flashing the Integra control panels. Connection with the module is being established. A window appears prompting you to read the data. Selecting Yes starts the data reading from the module. And that's all as far as connection with the module is concerned. In the next step, we will show you what settings you need to enter to enable remote programming capability. In the GSM Telephone Monitoring Stations tab, select the Remote Programming option. Next, create and enter a password that will be sent as an SMS message to initiate the connection. In this example, it will be start. As GPRS transmission is used for remote configuration, you must configure the access data for GPRS connections. That is, APN, username, password, and DNS server address. Entering the DNS server address is not required if the computer address is provided in digital form, not as a domain. Below we have an option to limit the connection initiating numbers to those included in the notification list. This is an additional safeguard against unauthorized persons getting access to the module configuration. Up to four such numbers can be defined. Now let us proceed to prepare your computer for receiving transmissions from the module. To this end, open the communication tab, select TCP slash IP and indicate the previously redirected port. In this example, it is port 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now we can establish a connection between the module and the computer by sending an SMS message to the module in the form password equals computer IP address colon port equals. After a while, you will observe the data exchange in the program window. You will be informed that a connection has been established, except to start data reading from the module. From now on, your computer module is prepared for remote input of new settings. This is done exactly in the same manner and to the same full extent as with a wired connection. 
For example, let us show you how easily you can remotely change the phone number to be notified. For this purpose, enter a new number and press the Save button. And that's it. Quick and convenient. For more details on how to configure remote programming of the GPRS modules, please follow the link under the video. And that's all for this installment. Thank you for your attention. We invite you to watch the next installments at the E Academy. See you next time.